Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing, keep supporting us. We really do appreciate each one of you guys. Uh, please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. Just give me, just give me the name or the link down below, and I'll surely check it out with time. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, or say hi back. Check out our vlogging channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0 and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm actually going to be reacting to um, what does it take to be a true Muslim if Muslims pray five times a day, then why do the why do the christians that's the title of the video why do the christians and others do others do not pray five times a day so without wasting time let's get into the video assalamu alaikum uh, my name is leon john and uh, firstly i'd like to thank my friend uh, nurullah for bringing me here and uh, giving me this opportunity to hear some wonderful teachings from you now I've got two questions to ask. First is, what does it take to be a true Muslim? And the second question is, Muslims pray five times a day. Why don't uh, we Catholics and other religions pray five times a day? Is there any explanation for this? Brother, I have two questions. First is that, what does it take to be a Muslim? What is the requirement? And second is, why do Muslims pray five times, Catholics pray less, what is the reason? As far as what does it take to be a Muslim, as I mentioned earlier, Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. So if you submit your will to God and follow the commandments of God, you are a Muslim. The number one thing is that you bear witness that there is no God but Allah, no God but one true almighty God, and you bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is the servant and the messenger of this God, this is the basic faith. It is a fundamental creed known as Shahada. So once you say this, you enter into the basic fundamental creed. And to be a good Muslim, you should submit your will to Almighty God. So if you follow the commandments given by Almighty God in the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the authentic hadith, then you'll be a good practicing Muslim. As far as the second question is concerned, why do Muslims pray five times? And we Christians, we pray less. The reason is, we Muslims, Salah is a sort of programming towards righteousness. See, normally people, they say pray. Pray is not the right translation of Salah. Pray means to ask for help. In Oxford Dictionary, pray means beseech. In Salah, we don't merely ask for help. Besides asking for help, we are getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other religions, they only ask for help. In Islam, besides asking for help, we are getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, if the Imam, after Surah Fatiha, he recites the verse of the Quran, of Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90. Ya ayyoh ladhina amunu, O oh, you believe, innam al khamru al maithuru, most certainly intoxicants and gambling, dedication of stones, divination of arrows, rich minamili shaitan. These are Satan's handiwork. First to Abstain from this handiwork that you may prosper. Here we are getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our salah that don't have intoxicants. Don't gamble. Don't do fortune telling. Don't do idol worship. These are Satan's handiwork. Abstain from it that you may prosper. So besides asking for help, Besides asking, we are getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I prefer calling Salah as programming towards righteousness. And if you analyze today, the amount of evil we see around us, you know, bad things happening, evil thing, obscenity, cheating, there are high chances that we can get deprogrammed. How a doctor tells you, for a healthy body, three meals a day. So our Creator, Almighty God, knows that we have to be programmed five times a day so that we will be on the straight track. So He's our Creator, He knows that. 
So if you are a true Christian, even you should offer five times. You know why? Because if you read your scriptures, the book of Acts, like how we do ablution, Surah Maida chapter 5, verse number 5, that you have to wash your hands, wash your face, rub the head with water, and wash the feet up to ankle. Similarly is mentioned in the book of Acts. Similarly in the book of Exodus, that Aaron and Moses, they washed their face and hands before they appeared in front of the Lord. Same thing, the basic part of Sijda, the Sujood, if you read Genesis, chapter number 17, verse number 3. It says that Abraham fell on his face and prayed to God. In Numbers, chapter number 20, verse number 6, Aaron and Moses, they fell on their face and prayed to God. Joshua, chapter number 5, verse number 14, Joshua fell on his face and prayed to God. If you read the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 26, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he took a few steps forward and fell on his face and prayed to God. Can an acrobat fall on his face and pray to God better than the way we Muslims do? When you do sujood, we put the highest part of the body, the forehead, on the lowest part of the ground and say, Glory be to Allah, the Most High. Glory be to Allah, the Most High, thrice. So all the prophets of the Bible, they prayed the same way as we Muslims pray. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hear shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Now Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that wait for the spirit of truth, talking about Muhammad, peace be upon him. And there are various references of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. If you read the New Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse number 12. In the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. All of these references speak about the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Even in the New Testament, Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John chapter number 15 verse number 26 Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 7 Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 12 to 14 All of these references speak about the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him So if you're a true Christian If Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ peace be upon him We Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves If you're a true Christian You have to follow the teachings of prophet Muhammad peace be upon him And do ablution before Salah You should do sujood and you should pray five times a day. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, a big shout out to the person that suggested this, but I feel like I've reacted to this only that this time it's under a different title. Regardless, I still went forward and just continued. I feel like I've asked this, or I asked this the last time I reacted to this. Does the five prayers also include the prayers uh, that people say when they eat, or Muslims say when they eat? Uh, that I would love to know. And I feel like some Christians actually pray more than three times, although we may not get information that they're doing that. Reasons only best known to themselves but if they pray three times strictly three times then i don't know people have their own reasons as to why they do something if it's in the bible that they're supposed to pray three times that's what they do otherwise i would love to believe that there are others that pray more than that um I know even if they're not praying five times I feel like they're better than people that don't pray at all people that don't recognize God at all you know so for just even trying to pray effort effort it takes some sort of discipline to even remember to pray because some people because they're so used to it they just wake up pray they know it's this time pray Others have to be reminded. Others have to be. Others even go months, days without saying a prayer. And it's up to that person and what they want in life to choose how they want to live life, to choose how they want to pray, to choose how they want to look at prayer and what it can do for them. And let me know what you guys actually think. Your comments are always welcome. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. 
make sure to give this video a, thumb, a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video